Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. At this point in the construction, the rocket is painted, the matte coat has been put on, and the rocket really looks good. It's a little bit shiny yet because the surface is so smooth, even with the dull coat on it. It's still kind of shiny. Uh, nothing I can do about that unless I scuff up everything, and I don't want to do that. Um, so at this point, uh, it's going to attach the nose cone and the parachute. Um, if you already haven't done so, um, tie the uh, D-link on here like this, or sometimes called a quick link, onto the shock cord. And then we want to stretch these out and make sure that they're not tangled. And we're going to attach both of these ends to the nose cone. So the shock cord gets tied to the nose cone. So I'll just tie it on here. And if you're unsure about your knots, just put a little bit of glue on them to hold them tight. Give it a little tug, make sure it's not going to come loose. Um, the D-link is easier to use. This you have to open up all the way because it is going to be tight, but it should go on there. This one's tighter than my last one. Okay, I got it on. And the reason we gave you a D-link is because the shock cords, when everything stretches and it's coming down, they are going to kind of twist up. So you're going to want to remove this uh, between flights and untangle your shock cords. Okay, and then your parachute will also go on to that loop. So this is our 30 inch Apogee parachute. It's really nice. Um, and the way that we make our parachutes is, is we try to keep the lines from crossing. So if you open it up, all the lines, you could put them across like this, and none of them are twisted. I mean, twisted like, you know, if you twist it this way, then you'd get a twisted line. Um, we do this so that everything is nice and straight, um, and it prevents the, the rocket from spinning as much as possible. Okay, so you want to gather up all the lines. See, I'm, I'm getting them all equal here at the bottom. This is the important part, that they're all equal. And stretch them out. I kind of wiggle back and forth until you know until they're nice and even. And I'm going to take the, that loop and I'm going to go through the loop on the nose cone. Hold that end where they're where they're even, and pass this through. Like this. Okay, so now my parachute's attached. Now, we're almost ready to fly, so um, I'll show you how I typically fold my parachutes. I try to um, open them up, and then I'll fold the corners, get all the corners together. This is an eight-sided parachute. So, okay, so there's an end right there, and I'm gonna fold it in half. So I got most of the lines right here. And I got a couple of them over here. And I fold it in half again. So now all my lines are together. So now you have the option of how you want the parachute to open. You want it to open fast or slow. If you want it to open fast, you take the lines and coil them up in there like this. 
So they're in a coil, then fold it up, keep folding until it's nice and small. On this particular rocket, because we have such a heavy nose cone, I want it to open slow. So I want it to pull all the way out, cause a lot of drag, and then slowly open because this, pair, this nose cone is going to be going a long distance. So uh, for a slower opening parachute, um, fold up your, your parachute canopy. Uh, do a zigzag fold, so you put one hand here, then you fold over like that. So now you got a zigzag like that, and then just keep folding. And then I want to take my lines, and I don't want to wrap them around because if you start wrapping, see they're twisting. Every time you wrap, or you, you wrap this way, you twist. So what you do is you, you roll up. So you just keep the lines and the lines are staying nice and straight and I'm just going to roll it up like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, my shot cord and we're going to stuff it inside. I'd like to do this kind of nice and neat. Um, but the rubber shot cord or the elastic shot cord is shorter than the Kevlar one. Um, so you're going to have more Kevlar than elastic. So I like to put that in first. And then we're going to put the nose cone on. You got to make sure all your lines are inside of the loop right here. And we're going to stick it on there like that and then spin it around. And at this point, the rocket is ready to go to the launch pad, except for the rocket motor. So I'll show you how to put the rocket motor in the next video. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.